Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of BioSapiens. Due to some technical issues, I couldn't upload videos for a short while. Now, having everything being solved, let's get back to today's topic. CRISPR babies. What is CRISPR? CRISPR is a gene editing technology. We all have our own unique genetic material, which is called DNA. The information written in this DNA is simply by using four different codes, which is A, T, G, C. The meaningful messages written using different combinations of these four codes defines what we are. For example, our hair color, our skin color, the shape of our face are all defined by these four codes. In some cases, the message written by this code becomes faulty and which will lead to the genetic diseases like Down syndrome, Huntington syndrome or ALS, progeria, etc. etc. Scientists were always in search of a technology by which we can edit the DNA or this message by the way we want. Like that, we can cure all these genetic diseases by simply replacing the faulty message with the correct one. And at the same time, we can also enhance the human capabilities like increase our strength or increase our immunity against other diseases or increase our intelligence, etc. etc. Now, a bunch of talented scientists have come up with CRISPR-Cas9 technology which enables us to easily edit the genome like the way we want. And the surprising fact is that this powerful technology is coming from microscopic bacteria. That's what it is. This is why I fall in love with science again and again. And there are so many things unexplored and even the minute things which you think is irrelevant will come up with a huge technology or a huge powerful information. These bacteria use this CRISPR-Cas9 system as a defense mechanism. We all know that these bacteria cause disease to us by invading into our systems. And in the bacterial world, these bacteria are not safe at all because there are viruses that can attack this bacteria by invading them. And bacteria uses this CRISPR-Cas9 system to target the viral DNA which is injected into them and destroy it. Through brilliant research work over 30 years done by some amazing talented scientists helped us to adapt this CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology from bacteria to edit human genome. There are several videos on YouTube that explains the detailed mechanism how CRISPR-Cas9 system is editing the genome and I will be providing few of these links down this video. Please watch to explore and understand more about the CRISPR-Cas9 mechanism. And now I will talk about CRISPR babies. It's a controversial and brave experiment done by a Chinese scientist Hu Zhuangqi, who helped two HIV couples to have babies that are resistant to HIV. HIV is a virus that is transmitted sexually from one person to another person. And the person who is infected with HIV virus will have a condition called AIDS. Through brilliant research work done over the past helped us to understand that there is a gene called CCR5 by which the HIV virus is entering into our cell. Which means that this CCR5 is acting like a door which can open so that the virus will enter into our cell. So ideally, if we damage this door or remove this door, then the virus will no longer will be able to harm us. And that's how most of the medicines against the HIV today's world is working. Using this information and the gene editing technology CRISPR-Cas9, who was able to delete the CCR5 gene in the babies of these HIV couples. So ideally, he is able to damage the door by which the virus is entering the cell. So in result, the babies should be resistant to the HIV virus. This particular experiment done by Hu Zhuangqi has invited a worldwide criticism from fellow scientists, mainly because of two reasons. We really don't know whether this CRISPR-Cas9 
can have any unwanted effects in these babies because this technology is still in its beginner's phase and we are still not mastered this technology so that we can start trials on directly humans. And if at all there is some unwanted effects in this newborn CRISPR babies which we will not know now but later in their lifetime it can be very catastrophic. And the second reason is ethical issues. We are wondering is it correct ethically and morally to edit the genome of a human in the way we want? Are we playing God here? That's up to you. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video then like, follow and subscribe. For brighter and better future, let's do science.